more often than not, I've found in my life really cool things come in really cool cases. <laughs> and that's the case today. Wow, this channel's turning into like dad joke central, isn't it? And I'm okay with that because this dad has some really cool tools and toys. And in today's video, we're gonna test this drone airplane, super sweet FPV live feed thingamabob. How cool is this? Vertical takeoff and landing. We should be able to transform and fly forward while we're cruising through the air. I'm hoping for high efficiency. This thing comes in multiple ways you can purchase it. Basically a kit or all the way up to like a ready to fly setup. And that's what we have in today's video. Believe it or not, this thing came pieced together with just the wing half that actually snaps into place in a couple different ways. Woo! <laughs> when you get it in the case, it just comes with these guys in one half of the case and the wings, the wing in the other half of the case. I just think the assembly was extremely awesome and simple. You spin the props on like a good old fashioned DJI Phantom and just clicks into place. We have our battery, which is not proprietary, believe it or not. DJI, you could learn a thing or two from this. Back here, we just have a large LiPo battery with an XT60 plug. It does come with its own charger, which is really nice. But if you have your own battery that could fit in there, you would do just fine. You can fly just FPV straight out of the box with the radio, which is really cool and I'm going to show you. But if you want to, you can take this Velcro strap off of the front. Then we have a weighted piece of foam here. If you choose to fly without a GoPro on the front or like us today, we're going to put our GoPro on the front so we can get you guys some nice smooth footage of this thing flying around. Fingers crossed, this should be awesome. Really fun. What a crazy beast of an RC. I'm excited, let's fly. I'm so sorry, I almost forgot the radio. I thought this was worth showing to you guys before we fly because it's very cool. Ah, oh, Abby. Oh, guys, listen, shh. Ooh. Oh, it hurts. Those dads out there, or anyone really, who leaves that on and who peels that off? Let me know in the comments. Am I alone? I usually leave that on if Abby will let me. <laughs> but it's got the built-in FPV screen, which I think is fantastic. All these controls up here, we're gonna figure out what they do in today's video. Today will be a maiden flight of this. And again, I'm very excited. This looks really cool. Okay, it's definitely not the best user experience for a maiden flight, but we're gonna try to take off. I'll try to talk about this here in a second. Let's go for a takeoff. Come on, give me something. Give me something. There it goes, yes, okay. Okay, here we go. Sounds amazing. You gotta go for a rotation, right, Abby? Let's do it. Oh, that beast. Looks like something that should be invading us. Okay, a little bit of forward movement here. So guys, this is supposed to have live DJI FPV feedback to the radio. Surprise, surprise, no radio. No such luck. You mean no live feed? No live feed, so we gotta work those kinks out. This is a maiden flight, and I want you guys to know that it's not a perfect user experience. We're gonna check for some updates and things, but I got a flight. This thing is hovering. Let's cruise around a little bit and see if we can get it in different flight modes or whatever. This just looks crazy. Looks like something from another world. We do have a GoPro snapped on there. I'm gonna go full forward. There's full forward in this flight mode. As I rotate, we'll come back. Kind of a clunky little flyer in this flight mode, but I don't think it's intended to fly in this flight mode full time. Still very cool looking. Very cool. There's hands free. It's just kind of cruising around. It takes a while for it to slow down and stop. Man, this thing is wild. So the GoPro 9 that we have in there right now doesn't fit. It's in there crooked. And I know you guys might just be staring at the sky, the moon, maybe some clouds. Uh, and it's in there sideways. Now, here's the scary thing. Abby says press A or B. That's what the instructions said. It said A, just the, A, not B. I don't know says, what B does. So we're gonna fly up and we're gonna press that button. And this could be the demise of this crazy little beast. or just the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Here we go. There's A, nothing has happened. Not, not enough height, it said, it popped up. Um, okay. So we're gonna climb up some more. I've got it facing away from us, pressing A. Again, not enough height, oh so let's gosh. go up higher. You're a weird little RC. You think I'm a Bob? Let's try again. And here we go. Oh yeah, that's cool. We are cruising now. Yes. <laughs> Luckily, I have airplane experience because that would just be gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, throttling down some. 
Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, everybody. You're what over our video. head. What a weird video this is. I'm pushing down on the right stick to try to get that nose to come down. Let's turn my phone off while I'm flying. <laughs> Basically, it's not letting me drop any lower than this. I think we definitely have some restriction type of things on here. It's oh, forward up, momentum. Sorry, Abby. <laughs> Stuck in forward momentum this whole time. I'm throttling down just to try to get it to cruise a little slower. I have a geofence kind of looking thing on my radio. It's not letting me go out of. I think we have a minimum altitude. It's not letting me fly out of. There's a lot of things that I need to adjust to make this more fun for me to fly. It is definitely fighting. And learn. And learn. learn. Yes. It's uh. So this is just cruising. This is what you happens on hands free. Here we go. Hands free. Goodbye, drone airplane. Goodbye. There's hands free. Now, I think it's going to hit that geofence in return, but that's a pretty far geofence. What's the geofence? Look at that. See that circle? See where the arrow flying toward the circle? And uh, <laughs> we're getting closer and closer, but I don't want to go that far because that's pretty far out. So I'm going to bank back. Luckily, this is really big and I can see it way out there. It is there. big. Time to throw some switches. I wonder if this is throttle. This is a, a knob I have on the left side. Doesn't seem to be affecting throttle. I have a switch on the left side. I am going to press. Pressed. And again. <laughs> and not much has changed. Sorry for flying behind us. I'm going to throw that switch again. <laughs> Abby, you said A is the flight mode, so boom. And A is to switch, I said. Forming, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is really cool. I wish it was just super high performance, you know, right out of the box for you guys. But I'll, I'll update you on a future flight, assuming it comes back in one piece. <laughs> this is very unique though, because it gives us the opportunity to fly an airplane style of vehicle without necessarily having an airplane style of location to fly. But it's, we've had stuff like this before. We have, but not A lot cheaper, advanced. only two props. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, you're totally right. Uh, let's transform again and Watch that, because that's beautiful. No GPS though, no camera. This has GPS. Well, actually, one of them might have had camera, and I think one of them had lights. Who? A lot of people bought those. Do you remember? Uh, XK. It was something, something. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of you guys bought that. Who so still has if it? If you wanted to feel like you're a pro flying an airplane, this definitely makes you feel that way, because it's that's hands free. It's just. You have All to you have to do is turn, right? Turn, turn just left and right on the right stick. And it so won't let you go lower than won't that. Let me go, I'm pushing down right now on the right stick. It won't let me go any lower. I think we could probably adjust that in the settings and get lower. I'm hoping to do that in a future video. Can we go higher? I'm pulling back on the right stick and there it goes. It's going to let us climb up really high, really fast. I heard and it like rev. I'm super high now. I heard it rev up. Let's use the left stick to increase throttle. I'll definitely increase throttle. Yes, that's super cool. So I'm flying much faster now. Let's nose it back down. So it kind of, I know it isn't, and it really doesn't look like it, but it reminds me of an X-Wing. Oh, totally reminding me of an <laughs> X-Wing too. I'm so glad I'm not the only one that feels that way. Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, it kind of went into a little bit of a death spiral and oh then hit gosh. drone mode for me. Luckily, the GPS tells me orientation. I know which way it's facing. <laughs> Can you see look my spaghetti this. noodle? <laughs> that's my flight path. <laughs> that's my circle that I can't go out of. <laughs> and I know the drone's facing away from me now, so I'm just going to rotate a bit more and then pull back on the right stick. Because of that little arrow, I know my orientation. Really nice. What happened there was I was cruising at full speed in airplane mode, and I was pushing, if those of you that are familiar with aileron and rudder together to get a sharp turn, that nose started going down. Now, I'm really happy that it just kind of saved itself and put it in drone hover mode. So is this a, let's see, a drain, a drain, a, a drain, uh, <laughs> or a prone? It's a I like prone. It's a detail, basically. It's a prone. Vertical take off the landing. A prone. So here we go. We're going to press A again. Get back into airplane mode. That's where it's more fun and exciting. We've got our GoPro hooked on the front. And now what I can do when I'm in this mode, the left stick pushing it right does nothing. Pushing it left does nothing. Pulling it down, however, reduces the airspeed. So now we're cruising as slow as it'll let me go, at least without making any adjustments. What's your battery at? 50%. Okay. It started on 84, so that's pretty good. It took us a while. Yeah, and now here's <laughs> throttle up. And it really blasts forward. Hopefully the GoPro is still on there and it's still <laughs> recording because it is... Uh, well, that's a GoPro Hero 9. I strapped it on with one vertical velcro <laughs> oh strap. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty brave actually to have that on there. 
Haven't seen anything drop from That's this That's our yet. newest camera, isn't it? Is it? Oh my camera. gosh. Yes. You should have right used the old one. <laughs> makes it steer left and right, pushing it forward. Would, would aim that nose down to come down, but it does have a limitation. And then pulling the right stick back, this is where it's kind of fun, this is where it climbs. Watch this, and it throttles up. Probably hard for you guys to hear, but it throttles up like crazy to climb. And so this is a very unique little vehicle. Abby, let's get back into hover drone mode and get it down here in front of us. I think this thing deserves a follow-up video with more capabilities shown. You just so wanted to get a, it out of the box. I did, and I'll tell you what. Okay, I thought that was a tick. It's not. But yeah, I wanted to get it out of the box and fly for you guys. You can tell here we've run out of daylight. And so this is this is literally the best we can do on today's maiden flight. I, I struggled to even get it to take off, but we finally did so. It says you can put a SIM card in here. The weird thing is there's no place for a micro SD card on my radio or on the drone itself. So if you don't record it onboard footage, you have to have something, at least from what I can tell so far, you have to have something like your own GoPro. So I'm not a huge fan of that. There's some limitations. I like the freedom of flying, but this would really give someone a feel for flying. Uh, drone slash airplane mix in a really good GPS setting, right? It's a very technologically advanced beast of an RC. I'm very impressed so far. And there's a learning curve to this. I mean, I believe anyone can get this out and fly it the way I'm flying it now, but to take full advantage of all of its flight capabilities, there is a learning curve. I just really wish I could go into airplane mode right here because I know my own confidence and ability. I want to just blast off in airplane mode just like this, but this is not going to let me. So I've got to play around with those settings, make sure like beginner mode's not turned on. I'm, I'm looking in my... I thought you turned it off. I turned novice mode off. Uh, critically low warning. There's probably like an altitude. Yeah, look, look, go up, go up. Uh, safe altitude. Oh, 20 meters. Let's turn that down to five if it'll let us. Uh, 205. Let's do five. Now this could be Check the demise. Mark. This could be it. Uh, that, uh, let's hope that did it. So here, I think we're about five meters. Let's press A. Still a little too low, it says. What's five meters? What's well, gotta be five meters. Pressing it. Okay, a little higher. This is, you guys are just witnessing me experimenting with this thing. A little higher. It might not be happy with five meters. Maybe that's, there we go. There, that's pretty low. I'm happy with that. Oh, oh okay. Oh. And now that transformed into drone mode by itself. I'm not doing this. I believe we're at 36% battery. Maybe it's just unhappy with... You may with, have been happy with Maybe it's unhappy distance, with that it altitude. I don't know. Let's see. That's me flying it. Is it coming back? Is it trying to return? No. Rotating that, and let's fly back. Next time you start this, make a star for me on your oh, screen. Oh, yeah, okay, I can try that. <laughs> make some pretty uh, patterns. Well, guys, I think that's enough for a maiden fly. This thing's quirky, but also really cool. Has a steep learning curve, and I need to do some reading. But there's a maiden flight, a true, raw, real experience. <laughs> hopefully, you guys. Definitely have raw. <laughs> Let's hope that GoPro is still going. I see. I see it on there, so we didn't yeah, lose the GoPro it. GoPro is on there, but is it facing down? No, it looks. No, okay. it's original. Let's see if we can land it. Remember, this has return to home and all those nice features. It's very tall off the grass, so as you can see, this very tall grass. We have a nice. We can basically take off and land anywhere, and I love that. Well, that's neat and fun, and unique and crazy, and. Uh, I've got a lot to learn about this and I'm okay to jump in front of the camera and say that. There are so many channels out that just want to sell you a thing. I don't care if you buy this thing or not because at this point it's still a bit unknown. And so I want to get my hands on this and experiment with it and fly it more before I ever tell someone to run out and buy it. If you love this and you're like, man, that's cool. I, I want to learn on my own too. We'll have it linked in the description box below. You can use that link and buy it and it helps to support us. But I'm not telling you to run out and buy this just yet because I feel like I've only hit the tip of the iceberg. This thing is a wild thing. And uh, man, I'm really glad it's in my collection because it's just so unique and different. And for me, that's fun to spice things up a little bit in the RC world when all planes and all drones kind of look the same. This is just a mix of some really uh, best parts of both worlds with the power of DJI. And if I would have had live FPV, which I should have had, uh, that would have been great. <laughs> we'll figure so it out. 
but that's what you get on our channel is the true honest experience from someone that just enjoys the hobby just like you guys. Remember, just be careful who you're listening to. That's all I have to say really. There's some good people out there for good reasons and not so great people out there for some really not so great reasons. So we just want you guys to be cautious of that and enjoy your time in the hobby. Well, I'm grateful for today, getting to get out here and fly and share this experience with you guys. And luckily we got to fly before the sun went down completely. So for that, I thank God. I also wanna say a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. We will have this cool thing linked in the description box below. Also guys, remember I wouldn't have flown without AMA, something crazy like this, even in an open field like this, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's an insurance program for those of us that fly, keeping us all safe if an accident were to happen. If you'd like to learn more, we'll have them linked in the description box below. We'll have one of our favorite airplane videos if you're new to our channel, one worth checking out for sure, popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.